we're at home, it's easier to control your portions. For most of us, we are measuring our foods, so it's easy to stay on top of our nutrition. But when we do go out and we have a party, we shut our brains off and eat unconsciously. Would you be able to serve yourself three ounces of chicken if you didn't have a scale handy? And what does three ounces of chicken look like? Learning to measure food portions is a handy skill and many people do it with a digital kitchen scale. But what if you didn't have one or you're away from home? Well, don't worry, we have the hand method. The actual amount of food your hand can hold will depend on the size of your hand and on the type of food that you are measuring. So use these tips as a general guide to estimate basic serving size equivalents. So one hand, one fist is actually one cup and one ounce of food is actually the meaty portion of your thumb. Now one tablespoon of food is actually your thumb, which is just this part over here. One teaspoon is the tip of your index finger. If you look over here, it's just from this line up to the tip of your pointer finger. One inch is actually the middle portion of your index finger over here. And one to two ounces of food, for example, nuts or pretzels is actually your hand that's cupped, okay? Now, um, and three ounces of meat or fish or poultry is actually the palm of your hand over here. You now have learned new skills that you can take with you for the rest of your life. In a perfect world, if we had a food scale and measuring cup with us everywhere, would keep our macros on point. But realistically, we're going to have to make it work temporarily. Thanks everyone for tuning in. If you found these tips helpful, please like and comment below so I know to keep making videos like this. If you're interested in getting your fitness journey started, send us a message. Thanks guys. I'll see you guys next week on Neri's Kitchen.